Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're gonna see about Vodafone Retail Limited. Yes, recently for past two days, I think the maximum video I posted about Vodafone Retail Limited because it is very very important point at this time in order to reach our friends so that they could get the latest updates or the latest news regarding Vodafone Retail Limited because the things which are hovering around Vodafone Retail Limited is very very bad and the result of this quarter third which came and which was very positive and in which Vodafone Idea management said that without giving any much effort we are not going to close to this business we are going to give our maximum effort we can but they also said government must give their support so basically what is the latest news regarding is that uh, Kumar Mangaram Brilla has already spoken to Ravi Shankar Prasad so who is Ravi Shankar Prasad if you ask me guys is the Telecom Minister of India, so they have spoken to the Ravi Shankar Prasad regarding this matter on Friday. And this is the news that has been sent by this uh, media channel series DV18. They have said this, and what they are trying to say is that Vodafone uh, has said this uh, in their filings that company ability to continue as a going concern is essentially depend upon the positive outcome of in AGR. And also, they are saying that Vodafone Edda was about 30,000 crores by Vodafone India reported to the banks. So, they are saying that the main banks include State Bank of India, Punjab National Bank, Canada Bank, Bank of India. All this, I think, all government companies bank. And also, you should note that the amount of loan, bad loan the bank is already having is very, very huge. But you should note a major point in Vodafone India Limited is that, guys, tomorrow movement is going to be very, very, very important. And uh, let's hope tomorrow if it also falls, I hope it should not fall so much down because uh, this is not the get and that is what the hope that is March 17th. Till the time comes, I think there will not be any sort of, uh, there, there will be sort of volatility but there will be no conclusion. And also you should note the main point is that these company holders are the big, big business plans in India. And also is a global conglomerate. It not only affect, affects the India's view to all over the department. Simply, I see it. Uh, if before starting of Geo, there were five companies: Airtel, Airtel, Reliance Communication, Vodafone Idea, and uh, lastly came Geo. So after Geo came Airtel got Reliance Communication is going under bankruptcy. The third thing is this: two things left is that. Uh, which company two things left is that Vodafone India and Bharati Airtel. So Vodafone will not go. It will also go the next partner to go is will be Bharati Airtel. So the last starting will be Jio. So what what is that only one private uh, telecom player? Why will telecom ministry run, guys? I think this problem is not allowed for Vodafone India Limited because if Vodafone has been cleared for the market, the next opponent will be Bharati Airtel. I think it's going to be very very havoc situation for all the telecom companies because uh, not only telecom companies, government companies also want to pay around 2.65 lakh crore of AGR dues to the uh, DOT and also the government. So it is very very important, a crucial point for the government to come and act and also the company should do their best as much as they can possible guys. And uh, Vodafone Day has promised to pay the some part of amount by the next few days, which means that they don't want to default the payment, rather they want to sustain the market, grow their customers, help the government in paying and also help their shareholders. So how this has played out in people's life is that in Friday it was just a high of 5.50 and test a low of 3.25. So it is almost a blunder thing that has happened on Friday market and uh, let's hope something good should happen on Monday and now the latest news of Vodafone is that the company has met telecom minister regarding this issue and uh, let's hope any other positive news comes for Vodafone Limited guys. Thank you for all listening this video. See you in the video very soon.